Hey everybody, we are uh, in search of things today, rather unusual things, and there's a good reason for it. <clears throat> I actually, I just upgraded, or I'm changing around my everyday carry bag. And the bag I had was a camel tote, I mean a camo tote. And it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's held up pretty well, except for the, it has a, like a rain shower curtain type plastic lining on the inside which cracked all the heck the first year or sooner six months three months I don't know but anyway I really don't remember uh, but the bag itself has held up pretty well and it's about can't really complain. The, uh, the inside, it's got uh, dividers and small compartments on each end. And that's just separated by like a silky kind of material. And that has ripped in the last new one which actually threw 
threw a couple things into the mix, which I hadn't thought of and hadn't seen before. And I will be sharing that. Uh, a link to the main one, or the all of them, if I find more. Uh, because they had some things that uh, just hadn't thought about. Uh, you know, I mean, there's the obvious things you carry with you, but uh, it's, I, I'm not trying to set up a survival bag. I'm mainly just setting up my everyday carry bag. My survival bag, prepper bag, whatever you'd like to call it, it's a little more elaborate not saying one over the top or anything <clears throat> but yeah I've got to get uh, a few minor things still yet for both because uh, a few of the ideas overlap and we're gonna we're gonna show you all that in an upcoming video uh, I'm probably not going to do both bags in the same video it's probably going to be one at a time uh, and it's easier for you if you want to refer back to anything in one of my videos you don't have to wonder oh where was it in this video it's a very long video that way I can keep it shorter and one is one, is one type and two is the other type and there may be a third. Because I do, there's things I carry that the average person wouldn't carry. Such as a suitcase with clothing. <coughs> because I never know when I could end up in the hospital. So I always have a bag ready in the car. Um, but... Like it doesn't contain any medication or anything. My everyday carry, I've got, uh, I was carrying two full days of medication in it, but I've got, uh, I got down to just one. Uh, things like that, because for me, if I'm gone very long, I need to be able to have access to my medication. Uh, there's, because some of the stuff I take heart medication has to be taken at an exact time. We're talking exact. I can't vary that. Which really made my girlfriend angry because she's like, does he have to take it then? Because she was in the telemed visit with me with one of my cardiologists and he says, yeah, that's why we said that time. He can't take it earlier? He says, no. She didn't like that. But, because it, it does make it difficult whenever you have to take medications at a particular time. And for example, they're 12 hours apart. So, yeah. It's not like aspirin, you take it every four hours some of my medications I have to take on a precise time and I have more alarms for medication than you can imagine uh, but anyway that's neither here nor there this really isn't a video about my medical issues but it does kind of fall into it because it's part of what I carry on a daily basis Anyway, I'm not going to make this a long video, but this is some of the things that I have uh, coming up. Uh, they're kind of they're kind of important to me anyway, especially with uh, winter like upon us. 
there's things that you should carry with you when you live here in uh, the north or Midwest. I'm not sure. See, they call this the north where I'm at, but these people don't live anything like the people in New York or in Philadelphia. Uh, so I don't know why they call this the north. It's right on the line with the Midwest, so whatever. I don't care. But the point is, it gets uh, a lot of snow here. We just had a lot of snow for this time of the year. And we don't usually get like four to six inches of snow on uh, November 1st. <laughs> That's pretty unusual. But at any rate, uh, there's things you should carry with you in your car. A hatchet's not a bad idea. A machete, a shovel, a folding shovel, not, you know, a huge long shovel. Uh, a tarp's not a bad idea. Duct tape. I don't know what this truck's doing, but it ain't looking good. Oh, I know what he's doing. He can't make that turn because when they built these roads, they only had horse and buggies. That's what it is. I understand now. I know I, I would hate to be a driver of trucks that size in this place. There's one place, man. <laughs> a couple of places around here. It is, well, I say around here. It's actually in another city in two other cities but I know of them and it's impossible to make the turn without going over the curb so yeah in praise of truck drivers really they have a lot to put up with but yeah I mean things you uh, you need to carry like I say tarps duct tape uh, a poncho is not a bad idea good gloves, whether they're leather or some kind of fiber cloth material, uh, chapstick, things like that, extra water, I always have a lot of water with me, usually it's carbonated plain water or just uh, cases of plain bottled water, but uh, yeah carry some kind of junk food with you just in case. I have low blood sugar and if it gets too low uh, I get shaky and all that. I have gotten dizzy before so I carry a little bit of junk food with me just in case. Um, we don't want to have any issues but if you needed something to eat on the road it's nice to have something. I don't care if it's a can of sardines, cans of oysters, something. Uh, up here, people have been known to slide off the side of the road and not be found for several days or a week. So uh, things like a life straw, if you can get water, it's not frozen. Uh, if you don't have water with you, which I have a life straw. I highly recommend everybody get something like that. You never know when you might need it. Iodine tablets. Whatever whatever you got to get to make it work. Waterproof matches. Uh, lots, of, lots of things like that that could really, literally be a lifesaver if you were in an accident off the side of the road because... Some of these places here, my girlfriend always jokes about it, about the guardrail on her side, but there are some really steep drop-offs, and you're not going to walk up those drop-offs. In some of the places, there's just, there's a lot of traffic. Some places, there's not a lot of traffic. It just depends. I'm like the king of the back roads. <laughs> I mean, I'm always on some back road seems like but yeah all these things we're going to cover 
not that I'm an expert, uh, just to help you, and I really suggest everybody watch multiple videos, and if you're going to travel, for example, to the desert, to a desert area, you're going to need different things than you would where I live. And keep all these things in mind uh, before you travel out of your general location because uh, you get broke down in the desert you may not need a gallon of water you might need 10 gallons of water or 20 you know maybe you should take uh, some kind of a gas can or something or an extra can of fuel or whatever whatever your vehicle runs on if it's diesel you know uh, be prepared you know keep an umbrella with you that blocks the sun you know clear ones are nice they were really really popular at one time but if you can get one that blocks the sun out that can be handy in a lot of places You know, just crazy things like that that people don't think about. But uh, they'll get in the car and travel across the nation, and then they're not ready for where they went, should something come up. So, anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. It's been real. It's been nice. Hopefully it's been real nice. That's so old. I haven't said that in years. But, <laughs> anyway, talk to you later.